video, I'm going to be showing you how I made the cool um, animated titles in my previous E90 modifications video. Um, I was thinking today I don't really show too much of my behind the scenes process as far as the editing and things like that. So that's what this video is going to be. Now just a disclaimer here, this is going to be more of a uh, nerdy technical video geared more towards advanced video editors. So uh, feel free to skip this if it's not your thing, but I figured uh, maybe just purely out of curiosity you guys would be interested to see my workflow. And uh, you guys see the end result, but you don't always see like the effort and the work that goes into the actual timeline of the editing of the video. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so in order to do this project, you're going to need both Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. Those are the two programs that I use to make these videos. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to open up Premiere. I've already got a new project started here. And I've got the footage that's going to be the background of our title. It's five seconds long. That's a pretty good length of time for a title. So I don't even have to trim this or anything. The clip is already five seconds. I'll play through this one just so you can see what it looks like. I'm a little bit upset that my skateboard was in the re reflection of the car here, but um, once we do the other stuff in the video, the title and everything, you're not going to really see that. But um, So that's just what the clip looks like. I'll play through it right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this onto the timeline. Uh, just so you know, we don't need the audio, so you can just hit this right here, drag video only, and just drag that right onto the timeline. Now the first thing that I always do, and you guys might not realize this, but I shoot everything handheld. I don't use like a gimbal or a stabilizer. So I just come into the effects here and I'll do a warp stabilizer. Um, this is usually like the first step that I do when I'm editing. And uh, this isn't going to fix like really shaky footage, but if your footage is like 98% smooth, this will get you that extra 2% of uh, smoothness. Now this might take a minute, so um, just be prepared for that. Um, definitely trim the clip down before you add the warp stabilizer to it, otherwise it's just going to take forever. Even this uh, little 5 second clip in 4K will probably take a couple minutes, so I'm going to fast forward to uh, this being done. All right, so now this clip is stabilized. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to convert this to black and white, and you'll see later in the video why I'm gonna do that. We're gonna layer um, just a blue or a solid color on top of this. We're gonna first just get rid of all the color that's in the image, that way it doesn't turn funky when we try to uh, layer color on top of that. So for that, we're gonna go into uh, Lumetri Color. And normally I would do an adjustment layer here, but since I'm only using this one clip, I can just throw it right on top of the clip there. Then I'll go into the effects controls and we'll go into basic correction and we'll just bring the saturation here all the way down to zero. And then you might notice, especially when that lens flare hits that this, uh, this image is kind of soft, that's because I tend to film in more of a flat profile. So just uh, we'll just add a little bit of contrast to this clip just to make it a little bit more punchy. I'll bring the contrast way up uh, more than I probably normally would. And then we'll also go down to the curves and we'll just make a little bit of an S curve here. So we'll bring this down a little bit. You can see the blacks are coming in nice and deep here, especially in the wheel and the tire. And then I'll just bring the highlights up a little bit as well. Just give it a lot of contrast there. So now we've got it smoothed out and we've added the um, contrast and we got rid of the color. So that's all that you have to do right now in Premiere. So let's go ahead and export this and then we'll import the file into After Effects. So go to File, Export Media, and then I do H.264, Match Bitrate, and then you can just name it whatever you want. All right guys, so now we're in Adobe After Effects. This is where we're gonna add the text and the color and the glitch effect. So you're gonna go to New Composition. Um, you can leave all these settings the way that they are. Um, I do 4K, so that's the 4K settings, but if you're doing 1080, obviously it would be 1920 by 1080. The background color doesn't matter because we're going to be adding footage on top of it, so um, I'm just going to call this title and just hit OK. Then we're going to import the footage that we just exported out of Premiere, so go to File, Import. I just called it Clip, so we'll import that. And then there's one other file that we need to import. Um, and that is going to be the glitch for the text. This is just like a free footage type thing that I found online. I'll link it down below so that you guys can download it as well. I think it's like a free use type of thing. So go ahead and import that as well for later in the project. But the first thing that we need to do is drag this clip into the project here. You can see this is the exact clip that we just exported out of Premiere. So the first thing that I'm going to do is this effect where half of the screen is zoomed in, kind of like a 
uh, broken mirror. It's kind of hard to describe, but I'll show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing that you need to do is duplicate this footage. So you can just hit Command or Control D, and that'll just bring it up on an, uh, a new layer. You can see it's the footage is there twice. And then what you need to do is create a mask. So just grab the pen tool up here. And what I did is I cut right down the center of the wheel so it would go over like right through the center cap. Um, don't worry about the color because um, this is going to be a mask. You're not actually going to see the color there. So then on your uh, second clip uh, layer, the one that you just duplicated, go into your track mat and do alpha mat shape layer one. And that's going to use that red shape that we just made as a mask. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit S for scale. And I scaled it up to about 120%. And you can kind of see that that enlarged this side of the screen that's masked. So then um, one little thing here is I wanted to kind of line the center cap up so it's perfectly centered, cutting across. Um, you can just hit, uh, hit P to bring up the position. Just kind of move it around a little until it looks just about right. Um, I think that looks good right there. So again, we'll play it. And you can see that the screen is like cut in half at this point. Now I didn't want it to show uh, cut in half like that the entire clip. It only comes in about halfway. So on your second clip layer here, you can just drag this. Um, I think right about here is good. So that way at the beginning, it's uh, the entire clip like that. And then as it's playing, boom, it zooms in. I think that looks pretty cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add that blue color. So you're gonna go into layer, new, solid. And you can actually choose any color that you want. I just use this blue because I thought it looked cool, but you can do whatever you want here. So just hit okay on that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a new layer that's just a solid color, um, just like that. So to make this show through kind of like a filter so that we can see the footage behind it, you're going to go into, um, whoops. You're gonna go into the blend mode here and go to multiply and then it's kind of like this blue filter and the reason that we got rid of all the color um, originally is so that we wouldn't have the greens and any other weird colors um, kind of competing with this blue and kind of making like a mushy brown color that's why i desaturated everything first that way the only color that's going to be on the screen here is that blue so let's play the whole clip uh, through i think that's looking pretty cool so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the text and the glitch effect. So for this, we're going to go into um, composition, new composition, just hit OK. And then this is where we're going to add our text. Uh, let's actually name this, I'll call this one type, just so I can find it. So then grab your text tool and just um, type whatever you'd like. I'll do uh, wheels and tires and just go over to your align and I'm going to align it both uh, vertically and horizontally that way it's dead center in the frame there all right that's looking good the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the glitch effects to it so that it looks like it's kind of uh, freaking out a little bit um, when it first comes on screen so to do that we're going to Grab that glitch footage. Again, this is just like stock footage that I found. I'll link it down below in case you guys want to use it. Um, you can actually turn off the visibility on this, but I'll just play it really quick just so you can kind of see uh, what that looks like. So you can turn this off and then you're going to go into layer, new, adjustment layer. And you're going to go into your effects and find the effect called displacement map and add that on top of your adjustment layer here. And then on the adjustment layer, you want to um, make the displacement map layer the 4K glitch, and that'll make that'll displace the um, glitch footage. So I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, now the default here is um, five and five. I did 20 and 20, and that'll just make it a little bit more extreme. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So now the text is looking good. Let's go ahead and add this text onto the, um, the footage that we already created. So just go into project, type, and just drag this right on top there. Looks cool. Now I don't want it to be glitching out the entire time. I really only want the glitch to happen right when the footage is starting. 
So let's go back into that type composition and we'll just drag the adjustment layer um, from the end. That way it's only really playing at the very beginning here. Like that. All right, well, I think that this is looking pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and save this file and then we can drag it back into our Adobe Premiere project. guys well if you made it this far into the video i really appreciate that just give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content and uh, maybe leave a comment down below if there's anything else that you would like me to show you any of the uh, kind of video filming or editing techniques that i do in my videos that you just want to see the behind the scenes process of i'd be more than happy to do more videos like this if there's enough interest so again thanks for watching leave a comment down below let me know what you think and i'll see you guys in the next video